What's up guys, got another video review for you. This time we're taking a look at a figure I already took, to, took a look at a while ago. Um, this is iGear's Rager, but this is the 4th Anniversary Edition. As you can see right there. Um, this is actually G1 colored. Uh, when Rager first came out, well not when it first came out, when I first found out about it, I really wanted him because I wanted him, I wanted a G1, you know, classic software. The only thing was he wasn't colored properly. So for the fourth anniversary edition, we, they gave us a G1 accurate colored uh, version of him. Um, as you can see, it's got G1 packaging with the grid <clears throat> over the, you know, the same, the same colors, the same grid, the same uh, kind of picture that, that we used to get on G1 packaging. Um, and it's even got a plastic tray with a window on it. This is fake. As you can see, it's just part of the plastic, the uh, the cardboard. But it's pictured just like it would have in G1, which I think is really, really awesome. Um, it says Mini Warriors instead of Transformers. It's got the G1, how to transform him. Because in the simple figures, that's all we got was that. And we had to figure it out. Uh, another picture. With their logo, which is, I think is hilarious. Till all our fun. Again, till all our fun. Um, the mornings, and we got a little thing of a you know collect them all, and it has a hench, UFO, Rager, and Sea Spray or Sprayer, whatever the hell they call them. Um, I guess calling them. Um, I have hench and I have UFO, and I will be reviewing them soon. Um, I actually am going to be reviewing them twice because I got the repro labels coming for them and I want to show them in a separate video with the repro labels. Um, and we have tech specs. Uh, I should have probably went and found a filter. Uh, the red filters we used to get in G1 and that shows you this line more uh, predominantly. But you can still kind of see the line in there. Um, it's even got a little bio. I'm not sure if this is the same bio as he used, always came with. I'm not going to read it, but you can read it right there if you want to. Um, and what's funny is just the last line right here. Um, he once pulled the trailer for Faith Leader, being Optimus Prime. And there's a hair on that. Uh, which happened in the, I think it was the miniseries, the original three episodes that started uh, Transformers. Uh, he once pulled the trailer for Faith Leader, and he still goes on about it 25 years later. So I thought that was pretty. That was cute. So let's get him open. So as you can see, the tray inside. It's not the same tray you get on the outside, but I think it was cool just to put a little homage to uh, G1. There's also a card. Put that out of the way. Card. This is basically credit card stock. And this thing is totally solid and thick. It's pretty awesome. Uh, da -da -da. Same bio. Cool little uh, like blueprint diagram of him. Tech specs. If you want to see his tech specs. Okay. Gotta get out of here. Take a look at him. Clamshell case. This is exactly how all the uh, Rager figures are coming. Or have come. Uh, there's another one coming of him, a black, all black one, but I really have no interest in it. Oh my god. Where'd that go? Come here. Okay. Don't worry, I found it. There we go. Just don't want to destroy the packaging to get these stupid little guns out. As you can see, the guns are exactly the same as it came with Shafter and every other version of uh, Rager. Keep wanting to say Huffer. So as you can see, he is G1 colored. And to prove that, there's G1 Huffer. Yeah, this one's a little loose on mine, but um, the only real detail missing, detail missing is the, um, the lights on here are supposed to be painted black. But other than that, it's pretty, pretty, pretty darn good if you ask me. Color-wise, 
I mean, there's obviously a subtle difference in the the color of the orange, but I mean, that's pretty darn close. See in the bottom, the same blue. I think that's totally awesome that they that they did that. Um, you know, made it in G1 colors. I've totally been waiting for that forever since they since they, since they known about this figure. So real quick. I already shown how to transform him, so I'm not gonna go through it again. Just look at my Shafter video. If you wanna see a more detailed look on how to actually transform him. Um, the ball joints on the shoulders on this guy are really tight on mine. Urgh. I actually have to force it. Come on. Come on, there we go. legs. Overall this guy is really tight. So there we have Rager. Robot mode. Take the pistols. Which is still my favorite part about this figure. Shove them in his fists. So there we have him in robot mode. Zoom in on him. As you can see, he still suffers from the same problem of his head being recessed in there. And they still haven't put a hinge on here. The one thing I want is a hinge right there so I can get at his head a little bit better. You can see his face right there. And there's a place right there for a decal. Should have did that before. Oh well, I have a bunch of Autobots decals. I'll stick one on there. Let's uh, take a look at G1 real quick. Come on. Why is your leg sticking? There we go. There we go. Yes, that is G1 Huffer. That is G1 Huffer transformed. His arms always point burr down like that. It's just how he is. I know it's strange, but it's what we got when we were kids. So let's take a look at them together. You can see that they're totally, that's a total complete homage. The hood goes the same way, everything's the same, the same chrome arms. Um, check a look at his face. It's hard to see, I should have got a flashlight, there you go. Obviously it looks nothing like his face because the G1, the G1 toys always had these weird faces because they were just straight diaclone and uh, micro changes and they would just port it over and stamped with Hasbro and they put stickers on them to make them Autobots and Decepticons um, so that's why they always had these weird robot faces and not and they had different faces in the show because they were different but I mean as you can see that's a total awesome homage a great update obviously we're probably never going to get a proper Classics Huffer but this guy is definitely going on my shelf as Classics Huffer and he looks totally awesome his articulation is great Bold joint, except for even the head is is nicely articulated, but you have to like dig your pinkies in there. Why well, just take two pinkies and wiggle it until I find the position I like? But I'm, same articulation as Shafter. Ball jointed shoulders, which are extremely tight. Ball jointed elbows, um, wrist swivels, hip uh, rotates for transformation. Ball jointed hips, ball jointed well, swivel knees, and swivel feet. So you can get some great poses. He's just totally awesome. The awesome, the amazingly awesome guns, little six shooters, which I still love. I think they're great and they fit him perfectly. Just overall, overall a great figure. Like I said, I've been waiting for this guy to come out in G1 colors since I knew about Rager. Um, the only thing is, you can only get this guy as far as I know, unless somebody else picked it up. You can only get it from iGear's website directly. And the only downside of that is it actually does ship from either China or Taiwan or uh, somewhere in Asia. Uh, and the shipping is slow as poop. But what I did was I just ordered it and forgot about it. And it eventually showed up at the door. And I was like, cool. Free toys. Well, not free, but you know what I mean. Once I pay for something and then I get it weeks later, I feel like I got it for free. But yeah, so if you do get him, just my suggestion is pay for it forget you ordered it and you'll be surprised when he comes um he was very cheap though i think he was only like 28 dollars something like that which is a lot cheaper than uh buying it from a third party place 
like Big Bad or somebody like that. So yeah, there is iGear's 4th Anniversary Edition Rager, aka Classics Huffer.